Hey there, everybody. Welcome on back to The Binding of Isaac. Eden Streaks, it's a modded edition. We do play mods on this file. Let's hop in as, uh, as good old Eden. I just got a Discord message. Probably all of you heard that. Uh, what even is this item that we have? I have no idea. Uh, well, XMHR, PW7, and F. Whatever it is gave us some consumables here at the start, including a rules card that literally means nothing. Uh, bombs are key, which also literally means nothing. And then probably a uh, library to start, as I would assume it's not a uh, shop. But euthanasia, uh, early on on a run. It ain't bad. Uh, in fact, it's quite good. I probably should have teleported out of that room. That's okay. Mistakes have been made early on. Mistakes will be made early on, pretty much for the rest of our lives, because uh, in reality, I am just one giant mistake. No, that's not really what I'm going for. I am going to actually go in here. I am interested in what you have to offer. It's literally a shop. Wow, what an awkward location for a shop. Honestly, I... Uh, I can't say I expected that, to be fair. That's a very early shop on a floor. Uh, people ask me, they're like, Tyler, uh, how can you tell what's a library, what's a shop, uh, where the secret rooms are, etc., etc., etc.? It's basically called, once you've played 2,000 hours of a game, uh, you start to notice trends. <laughs> it's, it's really all it boils down to. Uh, you begin to notice where certain things are. You know, secret rooms are uh, always going to have areas around them that kind of point in towards the secret room. You have to be able to uh, access it on all sides, stuff like that. Uh, there is actually a part of me that is tempted to do a, you know, I've been doing the in-depth series for a while, uh, and more in-depths are coming. I have ideas for them. It's just actually implementing them that I need to uh, do here. But I I'm tempted to make it also kind of a tutorial-esque series like this is for sure a secret room like I knew that a hundred percent that that would be a secret room uh but obviously you might not really know that that's a hundred percent a secret room we get a free steam sale I mean that's really awesome uh another pill is a speed downgrade that's really horrible and we now have a key uh which makes me not want to pop this bombs or key realistically uh we don't really have a reason to to be fair, uh, I am going to... Now, this is one of those situations. This can't be a super secret room on either side. Uh, so what I like to do is maximize the amount of rocks that I can hit uh, just on the off chance that we get ourselves a black market uh, or crawl space, whatever you choose to uh, do there. Uh, so it, there's a lot of little, little tiny things that go into how you want to go about uh, placing a bomb for a secret room or how to even find secret rooms. Like, for instance, where is the super secret room on this floor? Uh, I have one very basic guess. You know, when you look at your map, you go, where is there a location that isn't touching anything else? And, and the answer is there's only two. Uh, there's this spot right here on the left, which could very well be it. Uh, and since there are two bombs just chilling in this room, it's intelligent for us to do this because uh, we get a bomb back anyway, just like it's intelligent to do it here uh, as well, just because the chance of a crawl space is possible. But then the only only other locations that have uh, a wall that isn't touching anywhere else is right here. Uh, and then at the very, very top, and it's not going to be at the top because super secret rooms are never, like, ever that close to the start of the floor. So I can bet good money that this is our super secret room, uh, which it is. We can come in here, we can grab this guy, which we are going to play the crap out of. Because this could give us a lot of benefit here. Another syringe puts us uh, sitting pretty. On this run, to be fair. Speed down. Super duper sucks. And... I mean, High Priestess... Look, this is one of those situations... I, I genuinely... I want to continue to play this man. But I can't justify it. So we blow him up. We get two keys back. Uh, this puts us in a bit of a sketchy spot uh, for the next floor. Just because we... Look, I'm going to take High Priestess, just because we now don't have a whole hell of a lot of HP. But we could take the time, do the crime, go through here, kill some fires. Uh, I mean, realistically, if you want a super min-max, shoot these as well. A crawl space could pop out of uh, one of these rocks that we explode. But these are really, these are just min-maxing that is not necessary on an Isaac run. Don't kill yourself over, uh, over getting things 100% perfect everywhere you go. 
Now, killing fires is a different story. These can give you money uh, or a full heart. You know what? That's good enough for me. My point has been proven. We will head on down uh, and live a happy life here. But if you guys are interested in me doing a little bit of a tutorial on what you should be, what you should be kind of looking for in terms of secret rooms, like how to find uh, those secret rooms, I can do that. Uh, I, I can do a little tutorial on it and show it off and hope for the best. Like right here, I can kind of guarantee this is a secret room. It, it just there's some things where you just gotta feel it and you'll know, and that takes time. Uh, and I respect that. But there are also a lot of tricks and tips that you can go about to determine uh, where a secret room is going to be. But a lot of it, it does just take time uh, with the game and practice to determine those locations. Like I, I know that you know, many of you know Mr. Rystar, my good friend of mine, who I know personally, and I was part of the reason that he got into YouTube uh, since we knew each other in real life and he's been playing isaac a lot just in his spare time uh, as he's not doing a lot of recording right now just because he's incredibly busy and i know that he wants to get back into it but the man's been a busy man lately and uh so he's been just playing isaac in his spare time you know before a class etc etc and i'll watch him play and i'll assume that he knows how to do certain things you know i'll assume that well he's gonna go into the secret room because it's right there like how can he not see it i don't really want any of that uh, but I forget that people that don't have the super amount of experience in the game might not know those little tiny things uh, that I do. So maybe it's in my best interest to show off that kind of uh, stuff and you know teach you guys how to find... Wow, another speed down. It's just like a 10 out of 10 item. Thanks so much. But to teach you guys some of those little Isaac tips and tricks uh, might be useful. So let me know what you guys would like to see in the old comment section. Uh, but I, I could I could be persuaded to do a all about secret rooms in depth Isaac kind of kind of video could be fun honestly uh, I think that would be a good time I also have to do the item pools uh, in depth I've been kind of avoiding it because it's going to be a disaster edit for me because I'm gonna have so many items to throw up on the screen and that just that's gonna be so horrible to edit and that's why I haven't done it but I'll do it eventually I promise you. And I have a couple of other Isaac in-depths that are uh, queued up, ready to go. I just got to actually uh, do them. Like, to the point where I have the scripts written for them. I just have to actually record them. But, anyway. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I didn't even do a proper introduction. That's an amazing experimental treatment. Except for the fact that we killed our... Uh, we killed our speed even more than it was before. Which is kind of sucky. Uh, I'll take this. I will take this. I will per throw. We get the meat cleaver item, which I'm incredibly excited to do. It's a tears down, but we throw knives, and that's just the dopest thing ever. Uh, and by knives, I mean cleavers. Is pretty awesome, so I'm not going to complain. We get telepills. Uh, I got more that I want to do on this floor. Uh, I wouldn't mind... Oh, they're so good, dude. This is an incredibly fun item uh, in every way. This is the kind of thing that I would love to see uh, in the booster pack. Uh, rest in peace, since it's never going to come out, but... Like, right here, this could be a super secret room. Although, I don't have a lot of hope that it will be. Yeah. Oh, it, the, it synergizes with, uh, with Tammy's, Tammy's Bombs, which is a new uh, name for that item, for sure. It's so good, dude. Okay, uh, I'm a big fan right now. Maximize your rocks. Beautiful. Maximize your rocks again. Beautiful. This will give us another telepills, which, I mean, we have kind of infinite telepills right now anyway. This is incredibly satisfying as an item as well. Uh, I just want to emphasize that. I, I know it gave us damage up. I mean, did it? Or is it just like automatically killing everything? Because I feel like our damage is not that good right now. But maybe it is literally that good. We are going to take Crystal Ball, by the way. Uh, this whole setup now has me kind of feeling like we're set on this run. I mean, obviously, we'll need a couple more things. A speed upgrade is the main one. Uh, if we get that, we'll be fine. You know, and obviously a tears up would not necessarily be a bad thing for a run. I don't think... I mean, look, it saves me from taking a bit of stupid damage at some point on this run, uh, which I can get down with. Was this... Okay, not going to be a super secret room here because it's blocked. So then the only other place that there can possibly be a super secret room on this floor uh, is off of this spot 
right here to the right to the down and straight down this is the only location on the entire floor where there can be one uh so we knew that that was for sure gonna be it we can grab this uh turn all pickups into keys we don't need keys i'd rather have the telepills uh to teleport ourselves out of a boss trap room slash mob trap room on the next floor high priestess also useful but telepills is more so head on down i saw somebody earlier uh, I was on campus. I have a major exam today that I'm instead uh, playing Isaac instead of studying for. But I was on campus earlier today and I just wanted to grab a quick bite to eat. I mean, these are both... Look, the tick is not actually bad uh, in the slightest. It's just that we don't really need it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna get to uh, get the hell out of there. Just because we don't need that stuff. But I was on campus. I wanted to grab a bite to eat. So I went to... Uh, one of the local food joints. The mine now kind of makes uh, Crystal Ball useless, which is a bit of a uh, bit of a disappointing. I mean, obviously the mind is really good. We now don't have to even worry about where our secret rooms are because it's going to tell us. But still a little bit disappointing because the Crystal Ball is now basically just Book of Revelations uh, when you get right down to it. But that's okay. Uh, a Book of Revelations is still a fine item on a run to start out. It's just I want something. A little bit more uh just a little bit more later on but i went to grab uh i went to grab food and i overheard two people talking while sitting in the uh place and i mean i say sitting they were like getting their food uh and i overheard them talking and the guy was like yo man i'm gonna go grab a bag of chips real quick and you know that's normal you know grabbing a bag of chips to eat with your uh hamburger whatever the hell you're uh trying to consume at that current moment just go over there i mean if that would have unlocked a boss tra or a uh, trap door it would have been dope but it didn't so that's okay uh but the guy said yo i'm gonna go grab a bag of chips i'll be right back and then he comes back and he's got a bag of cheetos in his hand and i'm looking at it and i'm like something ain't right here because th look this is going to be the argument of the day cheetos aren't chips okay cheetos are not chips and all of you Europeans are going to start arguing with me about the difference between chips and crisps and all that. I, I don't, I'm not here to make the UK versus US argument. In my eyes, a chip is a flat, crunchy thing that is usually made out of potatoes, but I, I will not go so far as to say that they are, they're always made out of potatoes. They're not always made out of potatoes. It's just a, uh, a stupid thing to even say yeah I, I'm, I'm done with that room uh but a cheeto one what the hell is a cheeto even made out of okay is a cheeto made out of i'm assuming it's a corn based uh corn based snack food that they then cover in some kind of horribly awful uh these pills have been trash uh some kind of horribly awful cheese dust crap I'm not against Cheetos. Before everybody goes, Tyler, why are you against Cheetos? I'm not against Cheetos. I think Cheetos are a okay snack, although they are horrible for you. It's another Telepills. I mean, I think I'd rather have Telepills, to be fair. But I think Cheetos are an okay snack. But that's what they are. They're a snack. They ain't no chip at all. Pringles, also chips. Pringles are chips. There are people that are going to argue with you that a Pringle is not a chip. A Pringle is 100% a chip. You know, that's a chip. It's a flat, snack-based thing made out of, you know, some form of uh, something. Maybe my definition of chip has gone astray. Also, one bomb might just kill. Yeah, it's, like, really powerful. Uh, maybe we have to actually come up with a legitimate definition of a chip. Because here's the thing, I am 100% down for, say you have a apple, okay? And you dry apple slices to end up with, you know, the, the dried apple, uh, I, I suppose they're just called dried apple slices. I almost think that those are a chip, okay? Because they're flat, they contain a food that would not normally be uh, flat and it's preserved in some way. I feel like preservation is another thing that falls under chips like And I'm gonna go so far as to say this, but I, I'm not necessarily sure that I believe it right now I might even say that beef jerky is a chip But the thing that's different. No, you know what beef jerky is not a chip 
because beef jerky is chewy. I think that also a chip has to be, uh, it has to have a crunch when you bite into it. Okay. So let, let's take a step back here. Let's look at a, you know, a regular Lay's potato chip. Okay. 100% a chip. It's relatively flat. You know, you might have some curvature in it, but the general uh, shape of it is flat. You know, if I were to take the uh, the BDL of this uh, thing, the B.DL, we would find that the sign of the angle between is uh, 90 degrees because it's perpendicular, and uh, thus there is no magnetic field flowing through it. But you have to, you got to look at the chip, and you have to you have to make an assumption of how flat. Oh, hello, that's a good one right there. Uh, I don't know why in the hell I placed a bomb there. Do as I say, not as I do. You gotta look at the chip and you gotta say, just how flat do we have to consider flat? And when you look at a Lay's chip, not all of them are just like you're looking at a sheet of paper. You know, they have some curvature to them. But it's flat enough that we can call that flat, okay? And I suppose maybe you have a different understanding of what flat is, but not I. Look, this is just... Kind of, I don't even want it, but since we have a high chance of a devil deal, I will uh, accept it for the time being. Hoping to trade away uh, the majority of our HP for some kind of fantastic deal. You're also just a waste to me. I'm going to blow you up because I just don't care about you. Okay, take these and then go. Pop this. But then when you look at something like a Pringle, you know, everybody and their mother likes to have the Pringle argument. And I've had it before. There's people that say Pringles ain't chips. And I'm like, what the hell are you smoking? Pringles are a flat, you know, d despite them being fairly curved as well, they are a flat, crispy snack food. In my eyes, chip. Cheetos, they're missing the flat, man. If they were not, if you made a Cheeto into a plain based dish, then I will call Cheetos a chip. But on the surface, they ain't chips, man. You know, that's like uh, bugles. Not a chip. Bugles are a snack food. Because they're in the shape of a goddamn bugle. It's not in the shape of a... Uh, it's not in the shape of a flat surface. That's where I draw my line, okay? Uh, like Fritos, they're a chip. They're relatively flat. You know, they're made out of corn, sure. But a tortilla chip is made out of corn. And tortilla chips are definitely chips. They're crunchy, they're flat. They're a snack-based dish. You know, there's a big difference between chips and snacks, okay? Uh, a snack can be a chip. Wait, 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 go back a second. I am going to take this, by the way. A chip is a snack. A snack is not necessarily a chip. That That is the uh, comparison I want to make here. You know, when you take, let's take another famous snack food. Take a pretzel, okay? Really good right here. Uh, take a pretzel. Pretzels are not chips. They are usually spherical uh, or have some form of uh, bulbous texture. You know, you can have like the, the pretzels that are little pretzel bites. You know, usually filled with like cheese or uh, some form of honey mustard or something like that. Those are delicious. Don't get me wrong. Not a chip in any way. That's a pretzel. But pretzels are also snacks. Like that's fine. A pretzel can be a snack. I'm okay with that. We're going to donate a little bit here. Pretzels can be snacks. Pretzels ain't chips. If you made a flat pretzel that was crunchy, then sure. I will give you that a, uh, a pretzel is a chip there. But on the surface, pretzel ain't a chip. What other snack foods you got? You got, uh, I don't even want that to be fair. We're, look, we have more HP than we even know what to do with on this run. And there's a party that kind of wants to uh, just bolt for boss rush right now. So we can get ourselves uh, an extra item and teleport out. Might be beneficial. I don't know. We don't really need to. We don't really need much on this run. Uh, I, I really just want another tears up. And then that will be good enough for me. But what are the snack foods you got? Like, Chips Ahoy cookies. Okay. They, I suppose they don't necessarily have to be. Uh, don't have to be. Chips Ahoy in this case. And Chips Ahoy is another one. It, it's, it's not necessarily. Uh. You, you can have various different Chips Ahoy. Because there's Chewy Chips Ahoy and then there's Crunchy Chips Ahoy. And, and don't get me wrong. I don't want to have the cookie argument today. But Crunchy Cookies are delicious. Chewy Cookies are delicious. 
Crunchy Chips Ahoy are better than Chewy Chips Ahoy, but Chewy Cookies are better than Crunchy Cookies. And if you didn't follow all that, then <laughs> rewind the video and you can form your opinion based on that. Well, we'll talk about cookies in a second because cookies are like, they're completely another beast, dude. Now, we'll, we'll get to other snack-based foods, but say you created a flat cookie, okay? All of a sudden, I could go so far. Juicy Sack is really good, by the way. Uh, I could go so far as to say that a cookie is a chip. But there is another issue. We, there's a 0% chance of us making it to Boss Rush unless we, like, super duper start, you know, Boss Rush ourselves. We'd have to take the uh, Emperor card and use that to get to Boss Rush. And then we wouldn't have a teleport. And it's just a bad idea. So we'll probably miss Boss Rush here. But... The, the, the other thing that could set you apart a little bit on the chip conversation, you know, another variation of a chip is maybe a chip has a large amount of sodium in it. You know, maybe salty dishes are chips. Is that acceptable? Are salty... A snack can... Uh, okay, a snack doesn't have to be salty. A chip is always a snack. But a... Yeah, we're not making the boss rush. But a... Oh, we might, though. Oh, it's gonna be, like, really, really sketchy to try to get there. We might have... That right there might have ruined it, honestly. I'm gonna try. We'll probably just teleport back out and then go back to our item room. I'm gonna try my damnedest to make it there, but I know full well we're living a bit of a pipe dream right here. Living on a pipe dream. da na 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 See, I can't make a remake of a song if I don't know the words to begin with. That creates a small issue. Where were we? Uh, chips and cookies. I'm now starting to believe that maybe a cookie cannot be a chip, but I could be persuaded on that one. I feel like there's still, like, there's a shady gray area on the whole chips or cookies. Uh, cookies or chips situation. I don't think a chip can be a cookie. I think that's just ludicrous in general there. Okay, boss rush is 100% not happening. However, I am still going to go to the boss fight first. And then we're going to teleport out and do the rest of the floor. Just because since I'm here, we might as well. And we'll head back to the uh, item room and all that good old stuff. No, who knows? Our, our boss fight... And by boss fight, I mean shop might contain uh it might contain mama mega which means we can open up boss rush i got no idea so maybe i should not have just straight up bolted here but i'm going to pretend that this was a good idea and we're gonna roll like that and you're all gonna like it what about cookies we'll talk about cookies uh i do agree chewy cookies are best but crunchy cookies are still like insanely acceptable i'm okay with crunchy cookies i'm going angel deals screw you I'm going to take this as well. Ball of Might. It's a godly orbital. I've never seen this thing in my life. It's amazing, though. I, I am a big fan of the Ball of Might. This thing is doing, like, mad damage. It's doing godhead aura. It's amazing. I'm a big fan. Okay. Don't mind me, dude. Ball of Might is legit. Okay, take this. Plan C. No, thank you. Take this. Tier detonator. No, thank you. So, sadly, we're not getting our... Uh, dream of our dream of mama mega showing up there but i didn't really expect that dream to be a reality so that is uh that's quite okay cookies what are the best cookies okay i don't think this is an unpopular opinion but i'm gonna say it anyway the best cookie is chocolate chip and there's literally no debating that at all you might say "Ooh, tyler you're wrong because I had, in 2042, I had... Oh, God, that's, like, really bad. <laughs> Tech 2 is horrible. Okay. Uh, that's sucky, honestly. But you might say, Tyler, in 1942 or 2042, take your pick. I ate a butterscotch macadamia nut infused with chocolate swirl fudge brownie cookie. And it was the best thing I've ever eaten. So I'm going to say that the best cookie is butterscotch, fudge, chocolate swirl, 
mascarpone cream cheese with a side of rye cookie. And you know what? You can have that opinion. That's fine. But the best cookie you ever ate is different from the best cookie. Because you're not eating that cookie every day. If we started to have fudge brownie mascarpone uh, butterscotch supreme crap 24-7, then maybe. You know what? Maybe. I I'll have that discussion with you that maybe that would be the best cookie of all time. If they started selling you know, Oreos that were exactly that, then we'll have a conversation at a later date. But you know what? They're not selling those. Oreos are instead putting peep filling in between their uh, chocolate discs and saying, oh, happy Easter, which is disgusting in every way, but we're not going to get into that. Head on down to the womb here. Uh, and look, I don't want to pop the Joker right away because I think that genuinely I would rather save it for the cathedral and get ourselves another uh, cathedral-based item. Angel room item is the word that I wanted to use there, not cathedral-based item. That's just completely wrong in every way. But the best cookie is chocolate chip. You can make a case. Sugar cookies are delicious. Don't get me wrong. Uh, like snickerdoodles. Also an acceptable form of uh, cookie. Guppy's head is good. How good is it? Not good enough to get rid of infinite HP, I don't think. And, and granted, we aren't even really using... Uh, we aren't even really using Crystal Ball to the most of its ability. But I don't think we need it. Just like I don't need those keys that dropped. Th this run is basically how fast can I get to the end. We've been talking about goddamn snack foods for the past 15 minutes. Uh, you should know by now that I don't really give a damn about anything going on in this run. Uh, it's an easy run and we will succeed with flying colors. But uh, chocolate chip, snickerdoodle, sugar cookie, all delicious. Peanut butter cookies, really good. But you run into an issue. You know, For me... I'm not a peanut butter person, but I do love peanut butter cookies. Does this thing also push enemies away? That's insanely powerful. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly a big fan of what that guy's putting down. So he hits, Does he, he's not really pushing him away though. Uh, although it does like a stupid amount of damage. This item's really good. Uh, I, I'm honestly a very, very large fan of it. Head on down. But... Snicker, uh, peanut butter cookies are great. I love peanut butter cookies. I don't really care for peanut butter, but peanut butter cookies are phenomenal. The problem with peanut butter cookies is you can't have a universal, uh, you can't have a universal cookie considered to be the best cookie when peanuts are like a number one allergy of a lot of people. And that's like saying, uh, oh, the best crop is, uh, cotton, even though half the world has a cotton allergy. You just can't do it. The best crop turns into, you know, potatoes or corn, most likely, as they're just useful. This is your secret room, but, you know, that's another one where I'm not going to explain it. You just have to uh, stand with me that that is indeed true. I'm sorry for all the Discord pings. You people probably all think that your, uh, your own stuff is going off right now. It's not. It's me. Hello. It's my Steam and Discord notifications. Dan it, dan it, dan it, dan. Okay, you're all getting destroyed. I'll take Mask of Infamy, and I will enjoy it, goddammit. Are we done talking about snack foods? Look, there's more snack foods out there that I'm forgetting, and I would love to have you guys leave a comment telling me, Tyler, I disagree with you on X point, uh, or Tyler, what's your opinion on X snack food, and then for me to just completely roast the crap out of you in the next video. That would be great. I'd enjoy it immensely. This ball of beautiful goodness is possibly my new favorite item in the game. Can we get this thing in uh, the booster pack? This is an item that I would be like okay with if I was just doing a straight up mod spotlight on. This thing is godly. It's not even that good, but it's amazing. <laughs> I know that made little to no sense, but I'm enjoying it a tremendous amount, even though it is borderline like, I mean, I suppose it's actually really good. Now, Godhead Aura is no joke, and I believe it does, like, damage straight up to things as well. When you when you smack it into location. Die, please. Also you. Thank you. And then just kind of do one of these around this man. I suppose I can uh, move myself to hit him as well. Okay, you're a dead man. Have one of those. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, and we're going to enjoy... One more angel deal. It's going to give me Godhead. 
It didn't. It gave me Breath of Life. Uh, I mean, that's really bad. Uh, we'll kill you. Why? There's literally zero reason to have killed you. But I enjoyed it. We got another one of these. Is it worth it to do Hush? Uh, look, here's the deal. I'm going to do Hush, and there's a reason. We got a Joker card. So I will Joker uh, down here. We have... Uh, we don't really have enough keys to do all of the stuff here. But I will... Hope to God one of these gives a key. Key? No key. You kidding me right now? Okay, key is Bob. Okay, come in here. Ludo! What the hell would Ludo do? I'm taking it. It's it's unique, to say the least. Uh, I think it's actually horrible. But we'll see. Uh, glitter bombs probably over the other thing. I mean, we have a lot of bombs. We can kind of make it work here although i am about to use pretty much all of them to do stuff in here and in the other location i now have like the triple orbiting uh power of life here it's very strange black candles great we'll take this there's no key in here which i find to be incredibly rude in every way card is the emperor sure i'm gonna pop the joker first though it's a guppy item uh, we don't really need Little Brim at all. I mean, Little Brim's not really all that useful in general. We'll take Bob so that we get Bob transformation. crack a -lackin'. And we'll just continue to do some explodes in here. Looking for a crawl space. Not expecting one, but looking for one. Okay, well, what can I say? Uh, except you're welcome. Come on down. Give me a key, please. Uh, yeah, I'd say that that qualifies as a key. A key or like seven keys is fine. Open this. Get Bob's brain. 100% dude. I ain't a little baby. I love me some Bob's brain. Uh, and then that's really everything. We'll open up this last ch uh, chest and hope for Cricket's head. Although I think that's a relatively low chance. Bomb bag is fine. We get a judgment. Oh, I should not play you. I mean, that's just a horrible idea. Another card. Is another hermit. Okay, we're going to take the emperor because that's a cathedral basically like locked down solid. Now we're going to grab this bad boy. Turn all pickups into bombs. Look, bombs are not a concern of mine. And then we'll fight the boss here. Uh, and we got Ludo. So this becomes a rel... Holy crap. Okay. Ludo Tech 2. Who knew? Honestly. That that's that good. Why is that that good? Is that really supposed to be that good? Are you seeing this crap right now? That's like melt status uh, on that guy. It's not as bad or not as good on old Big Hush here, but still pretty good. I'm, I'm mildly impressed. I did not expect that to be uh, as potent as what it actually is here. So works for me. We'll just continue to do our Hush fight. Uh, as normally as humanly possible. You know, we are still... I suppose we should still try to fire. Because Ludo is... Uh, we, we still have a Tech 2 beam. This is very awkward to do this. Realistically. There's a lot to focus on in this. This is like a test of... Uh, test of mental strength. To figure out how to do this damn hush fight. And how to move. Because you have to move yourself... To light up Mr. Uh, Mr. Rockbeam. Ball of bandage life. Ball of bandage life. There you go. Uh, but you also have to move your Ludo. So that's on Hush. Which is not right now. So I should probably move that back. Uh, then you have to move your body to fire tech. Which is all kinds of special. And then you're also dodging. This is incredibly mind-blowing. <laughs> Every single part of this. Okay, just stand right here, please. And we're going to live a happy life right here. Oh, and then you have Bob's brain uh, as well that you have to worry about. And there's way too much to have to worry about. It's a beautiful run. It's an absolute like cluster hell of uh, beautifulness. I highly recommend you test out this seed and try this out for yourself. Uh, because you will have an awful time, most likely. I mean, it'll be an awful time while also being insanely uh, enjoyable. It's a win-win scenario. You die, I cry, and we all uh, live happily ever after.
What an enjoyable life. This is why we love the Binding of Isaac. Okay, why? Tell me why won't you fire at him? Tell me why am I stuck inside a corner? Tell me why my Ludo tier is nowhere near. Da -na -da -da -na -da. That was fun. Much enjoy. Just stand like right here. Hush, you gotta stop going down, dude. We will come out of this fight alive. I want to emphasize that. And the big like benefit of doing this hush fight right now is we get uh, Eden's blessing out of it. So we're gonna be getting a tears up that is just gonna make our run even better. You know, Ludo with the high tears up is what you want. Uh, that's how you make Ludo good. And right now, I mean, 14 is not good. So the fact that we're doing fairly potent damage to this man already uh, is awesome because we really should not be doing this much damage to him. I'm also getting hit a lot and I hated that. You gotta get up in here, ball of whatever. Where is my, where is my Ludo tier? That's the hardest part of this damn fight is figuring out where the hell my Ludo tier is. Please. We're like almost done. Don't die on this one, please. Have another bomb. That takes care of most of your minions. We're, we're so close. <laughs> you're, we're so close, you could tell that I'm a little bit afraid because my voice is staggering ever so slightly in the process here. Don't do this to me. Okay. He's done. Thank you. Don't ever speak to me ever again. And I'm going to head up to the cathedral. Okay. Whoa. We should be fine up here. I'm not at all concerned. Uh, and we are going to actually cheese this a little bit because I'm going to... Open these, grab a key, we'll grab Abel, uh, and then we'll go. And we're going to do this nice and quick. Uh, it's insane damage. I mean, it's really good. It's, it's borderline melt. And I'm not talking about the sandwich shop. Okay, beautiful. You die. And then we go. Is there anything else we care about? I mean, realistically, that mini boss could be uh, giving us nine lives, which would give us guppy. But I don't care. I want to go. Rosary is fine. Common cold is okay. I mean, this is really just uh, HP. I do want to do the floor like a little bit so we can grab ourselves an extra key. And furthermore, okay, we are destroying things. I want an extra key so we can then get ourselves, holy lord, get ourselves that last item. And then we will fight Mega Satan and live a happy life, but okay. Beautiful. Still no key. 7,000 bombs. This would be a great time for that bombs or key pill that we had at the beginning of the run. But sadly, I don't feel the need to carry something like that uh, for an extended period of time. You know what? Pop this and then just let that go buck wild. Yeah, that's enjoyable. Honestly, telepathy for dummies is not necessarily a bad uh, spacebar item for us. I would love to know where my Ludo tier is. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Are you having fun being totally lost because I have no idea where to place you? When we actually get it on it, it's uh, is incredibly damaging and kills. But it's actually getting this damn thing positioned on him. That's the problem. Thank you. A chest that I can't open. One golden key, game. That's all I'm looking for. One golden key fills a lot of my concern with instead happiness. Just kill him with that. Uh, beautiful. A chest I can actually open. Ipecac. Wow, that's a horrible idea. I think. We also got the Bob transformation. That don't happen often. I guess Ipecac Ludo does nothing except for the fact that we like... Okay, yeah, no. I'm I'm frightened of that. This run has gotten from... Uh, I don't know why I said gotten so weird there. This run has gotten... This run has gotten uh, very strange... <laughs> at the end here it's all good like it's all good strange but that's not stopping it from being very strange usually ipecac tech 2 is also insanely good but uh i'm not really seeing insanely good out of this because it didn't give us the plus 40 damage that it usually does and there's got to be a reason for that i just genuinely don't know about it right now 
This is fine, though. I'm a little bit afraid to fight Mega Satan. I'm not going to lie. Like, I know it'll be an easy fight, and I shouldn't be afraid of it, but... Full health. Relax. One makes you small. One makes you large. Really? We don't care about any of those. I am going to fight Blue Baby. And then I will go back and fight Mega Satan because I'm not a little baby. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that's that's the good stuff right there. Uh, say goodbye. We're gonna go fight old Megastan and live a good life with them. You know what? You're all gonna be triggered if I don't put put, my, put ourselves at 99 cents, so there you go. I'm gonna take a sip of water as we uh, retract ourselves back to the beginning of the floor. Stay hydrated, kids. We all know. I've only said it about 7,000 times in videos in the past. Uh, are we ever going to use High Priestess? Uh, yeah, you know what? We are. Are you ready for this? And... Ploop. Say goodnight. And then you say goodnight. We also get a free Unicorn Stump. It's like really good, but I kind of want to rock Telepathy for Dummies here. Just because it's... Uh, I mean, it's not better, but it's a little bit more fun for the last uh, room here. And I'm really just one more key. It's all I'm looking for. Another chest ain't valuable, dude. One final key right here is going to be right in this room. Of course, it's the haunt. Why wouldn't it be, to be fair? Right here. I can feel it. Coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Nope. All right. More bombs. Head on in. Let's get this over with. Another successful uh, Isaac victory in the books. On to an 11 streak. That's insanely good, dude. 11 streak is nothing to shake a stick at. My goal is 25, but I am a-okay with uh, how we how we have done so far. Popping telepathy for dummies has made this fight harder. Uh, the tier is trying. I know you guys can't really see this. It's trying its hardest to go to Mega Satan right now. Like it's just inching back to the man. We'll let him do his own thing. And he will, he will do a good good life here. But it did make that genuinely difficult to do damage. I'm probably going to attempt to rock uh, our weird ball of crap for a little bit here. I see a black heart. I need it. Thank you. Probably the hardest Mega Satan fight we've done in a while, even though this one's really easy. It just I've had insanely good Mega Satan fights. Ow. They should have this fight deal double damage to you. I think that that would be uh, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more fun. See, I never ever have to fight a second wave of this. That's how you know that we're not actually all that uh, insanely powerful here. But he will be Mucho's dead shortly. Thank you. Final phase, just keep the damn uh, tear on him and he's going to be fine. Inch yourself down, chuck a couple bombs in, and honestly, this should be like all we need. Yeah, okay, we good, we good, we're not going to the void uh, if given the opportunity. Screw that, dude, I'm out of here. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, if you guys did enjoy, remember to uh, slap at that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, bye-bye.